Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video, I'll be forging spoon rings. So this is a very rare opportunity. I'm glad I got to do. But basically, what I had done is I had gotten together with a b bunch of friends or a group of friends, and we made spoon rings. So if you don't know what spoon rings are, basically you use old silverware that have a lot of texture and cool patterns on them. Which, as you can see here, I have a lot from Savers. Um, I bought them very cheap, and then you just make them into rings. Normally, um, it's very widespread that uh, people that make uh, spoon rings normally just use a spoon ring bender. But as you can see here, we used a forge. So I was lucky enough to go to my friend's house. He has a forge in the, his backyard, which is really rare. Uh, but as you can see, I have a wheel to my left. I was helping spin this wheel. This wheel is the air uh, air duct, I guess you could say, to the bottom coals. Basically, the air filters through the coals to keep the flame hot and to keep the flame running. And then it goes out through a um, air filter so then we don't all breathe in smoke and the shed doesn't get like to a thousand degrees. Uh, it was really hot this day when we forged and it was uh, super hot in that shed, um, but still super fun to do and I'm so glad I got the, uh, to, to do this. It was a lot of fun actually. Um, just what we did was we heated up our, our spoons and we, we had first actually flattened out the spoon, the actual spoon curved part, just so it was easier to hold on to with our clamps. For once the metal was sort of workable and hot, uh, bent pretty easily, it made a, a spoon really fast. Uh, once you got the hang of it, you could kind of get a ring out within like 10 minutes very very simple very fast The first ring definitely did take me the longest just because I was getting the hang of it. And if you're looking for a perfect type of, like a perfect clear circle ring, then these rings aren't for you. These are handcrafted, so they're going to come with some imperfections. But I was happy with the way that they shaped and came out. They were still comfortable in my hand, although you could tell they are handcrafted and personalized. So it's kind of cool. And then before we even cut off the spoon, this is what it looked like. So as you can see, it's already starting to look like a ring. And it does look a little dirty, which you'll see me polish it later. Uh, but for now, I just took a hacksaw to the spoon uh, and I just cut it down to size. Uh, and then I threw that right back in the fire. And I wanted to heat it back up so that I can just perfect the shape. We made a very janky setup and we duct taped sandpaper to a drill and then we used that to polish the inside and the outside of the ring. Um, the outside of the ring was polished with this um, bit res you can see right here. It, it was just like, like a metal shaver I guess. I don't know what you would call it here. Um, but it did polish the ring really well and made it really shiny. And it really uh, brought out the texture, brought out the ring and that's a finished one. My hands were really dirty as you can see uh, just because the metal and all the rust and all or all the ash and coal and it was hard work. Um, it was really Really hot in the, that shed like I said um, but it definitely turned out well and this was definitely not the only one I made I made a bunch more that day too And this one was on the thicker side, so it was harder to work, work with so it took a little bit longer um, But I just heated up that spoon and got to work Originally when thinking about making spoon rings in this project, I was thinking of buying a ring bender, but those are around like $100, so I'm very glad I got to use this forge and add a little bit of personal touch to each handcrafted ring. Like I said, this one was really thick, so I had to cut that down and then I had to sand it down. I don't really know if I'll wear this one. Thick rings are really not my style. Um, it was really it, not super uncomfortable, but just a very thick, thick ring and the texture was cool. Um, just wasn't my style. Um, but I wanted to see what it would look like as a ring. And um, Some of the silverware that I had bought, like the knives were thicker handles, so they're harder to work with. Um, but the spoons were perfect. Um, I only bought them for $2.75, I believe, at Savers. And definitely worth the money, 100%. We made a bunch of rings out of them. This one right here was my favorite. It had a lot of flower textural texture, and I really liked that one. A few times I did just straight grab the metal, which made me feel kind of stupid, but it happens a lot when forging. You just you 
you just subconsciously grab the hot metal and it did hurt but uh, we tried our best to stay safe and use the clamps and uh, it was pretty easy after a while. I actually first had this idea from TikTok. I got this from a video. It was uh, a bunch of people I saw making rings with ring benders. I've seen people having businesses on TikTok of them selling these rings that they make with ring benders. And I think that's pretty cool. I also really did enjoy the process of going to stores and thrifting old-fashioned spoons and finding spoons that were great for rings. That was really fun. So I polished up this ring and I, uh, after bending it and cutting it off the spoon, it was done. I really like this one. This one was definitely my favorite. I will be wearing this one in the future. Um, I made a bunch more. Some that were just like not textured at all and some that were um, filled with texture. This spiral one you see here, I used a hanger, the top of a hanger, the metal hanger, and I made that into a spoon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.